A Place for the Unwilling is an open-world narrative game set in the final 21 days of a dying city. Time never stops, and every decision you make will shape curious stories and terrible secrets. Dream with caution. In A Place for the Unwilling, the clock is always ticking, and you need to think carefully about how to spend your remaining days. You can't be everywhere at once. You'll have to decide where to go, who to meet, and what to explore, and then let the consequences of your decisions unfold. Your story starts with the suicide of an old friend. Having inherited his house and trading business, you move to this new and exciting city. In this video, we wanted to give you an idea of just how differently you can spend each day. These are just three ways your first day in the city could play out. It's Elizabeth's first day in the city. She is a very focused person and wants to get started right away. She decides to head to the kiosk. Giles, the owner of the kiosk, is glad to see a new face around and wants to gift her today's newspaper as a welcome gift. He is kind of a yes man. There are two daily newspapers in this city. Reading them helps you understand what's going on in the city. The journal also gives you some hints about how the market evolves. After reading the latest news, Elizabeth heads to one of the closest shops to buy some stock. Florence, the owner of Le Lumiere, is known for her exquisite taste. She also has a soft spot for anything that comes from France. Trading allows you to buy and sell items in different shops. There's a limited number of transactions you can do each day, and it's important to plan what to buy and what to sell. While the system is fairly simple, prices will evolve each day and you'll need to change your strategy. Trading will have you going around, talking to people and learning more about the city. Even though you could choose to avoid this part at all, money opens up many doors in this city, so you might want to save some time for it. Elizabeth spends the next hours visiting other shops and planning her next moves. After a long day, she heads home to get some rest. Arthur has a different plan for his first day in the city. He sees an invitation from Dana, his old friend's mother, and decides to attend the party she is throwing at her house. Dana is a very peculiar woman. It's hard to tell how she's feeling. She tells Arthur to drink some wine, enjoy the party and talk with the other guests. Well, that's probably enough. He decides to cross the bridge and visit somebody who used to do business with his friend, hoping to learn more about Henry's death. Harriet owns a shop in the central quarter and, after a quick introduction, she asks him to help her clean the shop. Arthur agrees, hoping this will make Harriet more likely to help him in the future. Harriet asks him some very specific instructions about how each piece of furniture should be cleaned and just gives him a bunch of chemical cleaners. Let's hope he gets it right. Looks like Harriet is pleased with the result. This is a small example of the over 100 events that take place in the city during specific time windows. Arthur decides to head back home, but he still has some time to explore the rich quarter a bit more. Margaret wants to take things easy. She just moved to the city. Maybe it'd be good to get to know it before rushing to social meetings or business deals. Margaret stumbles upon an odd building and decides to explore it. This bookstore is owned by Lucas, who many consider to be quite eccentric. Yes. 
Lucas challenges her to go beyond the rich quarter and truly explore the city. The city is formed by three big areas. The one reserved for the rich is separated from the others by a river. The central area hosts all the public buildings and it's right next to the poor quarter. Players can visit all these zones and enter many buildings. That was quite a walk. It's a bit late already. Margaret decides to use a carriage to get home faster and get some well-deserved rest. You are about to live three weeks in this city, but don't be fooled by your first day. This is no ordinary place, and you will see that soon. Peace never lasts too long anyway, and the city is awakening. Try to uncover its mystery, or go on with your life and stay away from what lurks below. The choice is yours.